Hi, my name is Tess Gunty, and I'm the author of The Rabbit Hatch. This is my first novel. It takes place in a fictional dying city called Vacaville, Indiana, and it follows a group of characters over the course of three days one summer as their lives violently collide. At the center of the novel is a young woman named Blondine, and she has recently aged out of state foster care. She's developed an obsession with the Catholic female mystics, and even though she's not religious, she longs to achieve the kind of divine ecstasy that the mystics describe in their writings. Blondine is the heroine of this novel, but I think of the main character as Vacaville itself. Vacaville was inspired by my hometown, South Bend, Indiana, along with a number of other cities in the Rust Belt, like Flint, Michigan, Gary, Indiana, Youngstown, Ohio. And like a lot of those places, Vacaville was conjured into existence by an industry and then just as swiftly destroyed by one. The novel takes place decades after the main industry has closed, and by then, the brutality of the extraction economy is visible everywhere you look. It's visible in these abandoned campuses of factories. It's visible in these sublime and unnatural monocrops of corn. It's even visible in the foreclosed expressions on people's faces. I worked on this novel for about five years before submitting it anywhere, and throughout that time I was sustained by the conviction that these forgotten places and their neglected people are worthy of attention. The Rust Belt is home to millions of people, and yet I think it's vastly underrepresented in the American imagination. Insofar as it is represented, it's usually derided as flyover country, it's uh, the punchline of jokes, it's it's assumed to be home to one kind of voter whose pain and rage are easily exploited by politicians. But I know the Rust Belt to be a place that is vast and complex, diverse and alive, and I wanted to make room for its, its beauty, its humor, its resilience alongside the economic pain in my novel. I think of this as a novel about loneliness and community, entrapment and freedom, and at its center is the question, what do we owe each other? What do we owe our neighbors, ourselves, strangers, past and future generations, the non-human inhabitants of this planet? I hope that if you choose to read it, it offers you an occasion to laugh and to reflect and to feel less alone. It will be available wherever books are sold. Thanks for watching.